Hello everybody, Dr. Darok, aka Batty Chris, back with yet another episode of Doc's Castle. Now on today's episode, we're going to be doing some more fun things with witchery. I'm, I'd really like to get decently far in this mod. If you guys have any other suggestions for things that I should be doing in Attack of the B-Team other than witchery, then I can certainly take a look at that. Leave them in the comment section down below. But the other thing that you need to leave in the comment section down below is your Minecraft username, your in-game name, so that I can add you to the Hall of Minions. Now, uh, we're going to start off by adding someone new to the Hall of Minions, and that exact person will be uh, a person by the name of Kestra, also known as Lady Grelka on YouTube. So, uh, let's just hit... Ri oh, yeah, you know what? Hang on. I gotta, I've got to move over to this side so it faces the right direction. Uh, and then Kestra. Okay, we're going to just randomize your pose here. Uh, until I find one that's like random and crazy just like I always do now Lady Grelka has been watching my videos for a while um, I think she came to my channel uh, during the course of me doing the Blightfall series but I'm not 100% sure so yeah here we go that looks good I like that boom there we go and there you are um, the, are you supposed to be Sailor Moon or something I'm confused <laughs> what is your what is your skin? Can you tell me in the comments section? Okay, so there is Kestra, aka Lady Groka. Thanks for all your help so far in all of my videos. You are a very welcome addition to the Hall of Minions. Okay, so we've got one other awesome person joining us this week, and that is the first addition to the Elite Hall of Minions, which, as you may know if you caught my last episode, is going to be placed right here in my living room to hang out with me during my downtime. Okay, so the Elite Hall of Minions is for awesome people who, who do awesome stuff to help out my channel, and one of those people... Uh, drum roll. Can I get a drum roll, please? By the way, you're going to be carved out of gold. I hope that's okay with you. Uh, because for now, I'm just going to leave your... I'm just going to leave you tinted gold. But, um, one of those awesome people is... Drum roll, please. Shiruba Kame. And, uh, this is... Someone named, uh, this is also known as Life with Teens and Other Wild Things, if I recall correctly. Um, I, I might have gotten the end part wrong, but it's Life with Teens. Uh, they have an awesome Twitter, which you can follow over here. And you can also, um, let's see here, hang on, let's make a thing. Uh, da, 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 oh, you're flying there. Um, Come on, come on, come on. And you can also, also has a YouTube channel that you can go check out where where uh, she does Minecraft. And uh, you can go check that out using the link on your screen, okay? So I hope that that is awesome to everybody. Uh, if you would like to be, oh look, Disco Pose. Awesome, let's do that. Ta-da! Okay, so for now you're gonna remain out of gold. If you would like your skin, that's fine too. Just leave a comment in, uh, down below. Let me know, uh, Life with Teens, that you would like that, and I will gladly comply with your request. Now, I've got one other thing that I want to do for you here. That is going to be right-click on you with a pallet and give you a golden sword, okay? And uh, I, I don't know why I picked a golden sword. I just did. So, yeah, there you go. You are now in my living room. Thanks so much for tweeting out my video with my hashtag. Uh, and um, if anyone else wants to be in the Hall of Elite Minions, don't worry. Uh, I will be admitting new players to the, hall, the, to the Elite Hall of Minions, but it won't be every week. It'll probably be every other week. Okay? And in addition to a regular Hall of Minions entrant. Which, by the way, I should remind you, if you want to join the Hall of Minions, all you've got to do is leave your username in a comment down below in the comments section. Tell me that you want to be a part of the Hall of Minions, and I will pick someone who leaves it on this video for next week's video, okay? Sounds good? Sounds good to me. Uh, let me go ahead and morph into Doc here. Let's go back to being me. 
so that I can use my bed. And uh, so, because I don't want it to be night right now. And yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you guys are really excited about the Hall of Elite Minions or the Elite Hall of Minions, one way or the other. Um, I don't really care which way you say it uh, because it's the same thing either way, just with one word transposed. Um, and yeah, so off camera, I did a little bit of revamping to my altar setup here uh, for witchery. Uh, you might notice I've I, I harvested some of this Spanish moss, moved it over here, put some up there and on these sides. I also added uh, a, another side to my arch here and a little like um, canopy up above, full of leaves and things. So yeah, hope that hope you guys find that interesting and cool and things. And uh, as you can see, my altar is far more capable of holding things at this point. There goes my phone. Whoops! Da na na na! Zelda theme or or Zelda item collect jingle. Da na na na. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do some more witchery today. Um, we're going to be upgrading some of the altar components. Okay, now in order to do this, first. I'm going to have to create a few more attuned stones. Okay, so to do that, we're just going to take whiff of magic and diamond and buckets of lava, and we're going to make them just like this. Okay, and there we go. I've created that part. Now, the first thing that I want to make is called a chalice, and that's going to be really easy to make. It's just an attuned stone, two gold ingots, uh, and four gold nuggets. Okay, so let's take the gold nuggets. Put those in here, the attuned stone right there, and with the addition of my gold ingots, I have created a chalice. Now the chalice is another item that goes on top of the altar. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and remove the torch and the skeleton skull here, and take a look at the altar uh, without those things. Now I've now it's only got a limit of 1318 and only has a 1x recharge rate, which you might notice is not quite enough to sustain the barrier spell that I currently have with circle magic around the altar. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this chalice right here. Okay, and that will uh, double the amount of internal space that the altar has compared to what it had without, but it doesn't increase the recharge rate. Okay, so I'm gonna put my torch back to get my recharge rate back up, and now you'll see it's slowly, very slowly going up because it's just barely restoring enough to get past the drain rate of my circle magic that I have active. And I've got a, I've got an itch on my back right now that I can't quite reach, and it's very frustrating and annoying. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna like grab this screwdriver and itch my back and yeah, I hope you guys are imagining that in your head because um, right now it is killing me having this itch. Okay, there we go. Much better. You'll notice that this is going up slowly, very, very slowly. And um, yeah, so the other thing that I want to do is upgrade my uh, skeleton skull here into an alluring skull. Okay, now in order to do that, I'm going to need to make a voodoo poppet. Uh, with some glowstone dust as the skeleton skull and what is this necromantic stone okay I'm not really sure actually you know I'm not 100% sure I can do this because I'm not certain how to make the necromantic stone okay so I guess for now we're just gonna put the skeleton skull back as it was okay right yeah okay and as you can see now I've got almost 4,000 space inside of there for that uh, the other thing I want to make is probably going to be a candelabra, okay, which is going to be an attuned stone, three iron ingots, and three torches. So let me go grab some iron ingots, and we'll get this made. It's going to be really easy to make. And the candelabra is basically going to uh, give me an even higher recharge rate than I already get from uh, the stuff that I have, and it's very useful to have. So, uh, let's see, do I have any iron ingots, or are they all in block form? Well, that's okay, because I've got lots and lots of blocks of iron. There's no problem with that. I can do this. And let's run over here, just like this. So, we're going to take one, two, three iron ingots, and then we're going to take one, two, three torches, and then we're going to place in a tombstone right in the center there, and we'll make a candelabra. Now the candelabra, like I said, um, instead of just a 2x, instead of just like uh, boosting the rate 
uh, by plus 1x. It's going to boost the rate, I believe, by plus 2x. Okay, so you can see right now it's at 3x. I break the torch, it'll be at 2x. I place this, it's at 4x. Okay, and now you can see that my energy is restoring at uh, quite the pace here. Okay, now this candelabra or this chalice can be made more effective by filling it with uh, redstone soup. Okay, but I don't yet have redstone soup, and I don't believe that I have the book that describes how to make it quite yet. Um, although, if I if I look it up, I should be able to make it. Let's see here, brews and infusions. So I'm going to need odor of purity for that, which I think I've got just sitting in the distillery right now. Yes, because I distilled out some diamonds on the last episode. What is this diamond vapor even used for? And... Um, oh, okay, I guess it's used for several different poppets and dream weavers and some other crazy things. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, so I suppose that that's not really something that is hard to make. This impregnated leather is kind of useful. I might want to make some of that in the near future, but probably not today. Okay, so with Odor of Purity on my docket here... I should be able to make brews and infusions just by traveling back inside. Da 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 da. Let's fly like a bat. Da 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 da. That's where it's at. Um. What? Huh? What are you talking about, Doc? You're a crazy person who sings crazy songs. Okay, so now I've got the Brews and Infusions book, and uh, basically we can look up how to make the uh, redstone soup, which, uh, is is that even in this book? It doesn't seem like it, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. Redstone soup. There it is. Redstone, drop of luck, wool of bat, tongue of dog, belladonna flower, mandrake root. Okay, so tongue of dog, I've got some of that. Wool of bat, do I have wool of bat? Let's find out. I think I've got some somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. Found the wool of bat. Okay, so, tongue of dog, wool of bat, drop of luck, belladonna flower, and mandrake root. Okay, so I've got the mandrake roots. They're already out there. Um, the belladonna flowers, let's just grab a few of these here. Now, the drop of luck is going to be one that's a little bit harder. Um, so, let's just see here. Drop of luck okay so drop of luck is gonna be made oh lord okay so that's quite the that's quite the hefty uh cost there so i'm not sure because this um what is this the refined evil that's hard to get i need a gas tear and diamond vapor although i think i've got that um mutandus extremis is another wart and eight mutandus okay so you know what i think i can do that too uh, but I'm not sure if I'll get all that done this episode, uh, considering I've also got to make the the witch's, witch's cauldron or whatever it is and do all this other stuff. But, you know, hey, you know what? Maybe we'll, we'll go for it. We'll try it. And if I don't quite finish, then we'll finish that up on next the next episode before we get to anything else. Okay. Um, so let's see. Wool of Bat, Tongue of Dog, Belladonna, Mandrake Root. There's some mutandus, which you'll you might remember is hint of rebirth, cactus green, bone meal, and mandrake root. So have I got hint of rebirth? Let's see here. Um, no, I haven't. So how do I make that again? Hint, hint of rebirth. I think it's like spruce, spruce saplings. Okay, so we'll have to chop down some spruce trees. And that'll be that'll be quite fun, unless I've got some spruce trees. Uh, do I have spruce saplings? No, I've got birch in here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll just do this then. The spruce saplings should come quite easily. Uh, I'm gonna go on a little hunt for them, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've actually done a little bit more preparation than I planned off camera, so hopefully uh, this will allow me to squeeze in everything that I want to do by the end of the episode. Okay, so basically what I need to do next is make a kettle 
Now this kettle, I need two sticks, three string, a cauldron, and an attuned stone. So I'm just gonna open this up. I need three string, two sticks, a cauldron, and an attuned stone. Uh-huh, just like that. And now I've got a kettle. However, I'm not quite finished yet. Uh, so let's see here. Um, what I want to do really is grab the train of fire and dig out a little spot over here. And uh, I'm going to put put some stone bricks in here just like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then um, let me grab some of this dirt. White anemone. I do not want your anemones. <sighs> the anemone of my anemone is my friend. End. Um, what? <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I want is I'm going to want to put a piece of nether rack right here. Uh, and you'll see that'll be that the reason for that will be apparent to you um, very shortly. Now, uh, I also I, I need something that I forgot to grab from over here, which I think is in my tools box. Let's see. I need a flint and steel. Okay, so if the reason for the nether rack is not yet apparent, well, goodness, you don't know your Minecraft very well yet, do ya? Because the reason I need it is, boom, so I can place a fire right there. Okay, now hopefully that fire is not going to really spread as much as that. Because um, I don't want it to burn down my... Ouch! Ouch! Really? Come on! Come on! I don't want it to burn me down either! Stop! Stop it! Stop! No! Halt! Cease the fire! Ah! Uh, my burnt little bat butt is... Did I just say burnt little bat butt? Wow, guys. I've reached a new low in my in my uh, Doc's Castle series. Have I been calling it Doc's Castle this episode or accidentally Blightfall? I really... <laughs> I really can't tell. Um... But yeah, why don't I go ahead and grab some of these to prevent the spreading of the fire. That should help, right? Okay, there we go. So this should do the trick, I think. Um, and we'll also, whoa, whoa, see, that's what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, okay? So let's just uh, cut that off right there, just like that, okay. So now I can put my kettle there and as you can see, it looks a little bit weird um, because I probably could have placed some things here for the, the sticks to stick into. But whatever, no big deal. That's okay. So basically, see how the attune stone is in the bottom of the kettle? How cool is that? Um, I also like how the smoke particle effects go right through it from below. Now I need to fill it up with water. And uh, at this point, it should be ready to use, I think. Hang on, let's check the book. Okay. A heated, water-filled kettle. Altars provide power. Okay, so I think I'm close enough to get power from the altar. Let's count my blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I should definitely be within range to receive power from the altar. Okay, so basically now we've just got to put these things in there. However, I'm still a couple things short, aren't I? Because I need a drop of luck. That is the one thing that uh, I didn't quite um, get yet. So in order to do that, I'm going to need Refined Evil and Mutandus Extremis. Now, the Refined Evil is not that hard. Gas Tier, Diamond Vapor. I've already got Diamond Vapor. Um, gas Tier is easy. So let's just take Gas Tier, uh, Diamond Vapor. Where's that? One, two, three, four, whatever. I'll just bring them all. Um, Gast, Tear, Diamond Vapor, and let's grab some extra clay jars to make this easy. So put in the clay jar, put in the, put in one, two, three, four Diamond Vapor, and you'll see that it'll just get right on working on that. So the Refined Evil, boom, we took care of that. That was easy. Um, however, the Mutantus Extremis, that's, that's a little difficult. See, I'm going to need Nether Wart as well as 8 Mutandus. Now, to make 8 Mutandus, I need 4 Wood, Ash, Hint of Rebirth, Bone Meal, Cactus, Green, Egg, and Mandrake Root. So, I've got Mandrake Roots in here. Let's grab a few of those. Egg, Wood, Ash. I'm going to need some more of that. Um, cactus Green, Bone Meal. Was there anything else? 
Is there a thing I'm forgetting right now? Uh, where was I? Let's see. Go back. Mandrake root, cactus green, bone meal, hint of rebirth. Right. And I went ahead and collected some spruce saplings so that I could make that quite easily. So let's just go ahead and put all those things into here. Egg. Um, hint of rebirth. Mandrake root. Uh, cactus green, bone meal. Is that in the right order? Cactus green, bone meal, mandrake root, hint of rebirth. Awesome. Cool. I did a good job. Um, the next thing I need to do is put my wood ash in there. Okay. And boom. I have created all the stuff. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and throw all of these ingredients back into here. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to use them again soon and make more mutandus. Because it's not really that easy to make. Also got some wood ash in here. There we go. Boom. So that has done the trick. I've made the mutandus. Now I've just got to make it into mutandus extremis, which is more potent, basically, to, to put it lightly. Uh-huh. There we go. So now I've got the mutandus extremis. Uh, the refined evil should be right over here. Right? Okay, there we go. Refined evil. We got that. And also a water bottle. So let's go ahead and take my glass bottles here, just fly right over here to the water, and there we are. Take my water bottle, my refined evil, and my mutandus extremis, make a drop of luck. Okay. So with that drop of luck, I should now have everything required in order to proceed. Uh, tomato seed, you can go away, I don't need you. Um, so yeah, let's deposit these extra things into here and take a look at the requirements for this brew again. Uh, the redstone brew or potion or whatever it's called. Um, redstone soup. There we go. So I need redstone, a drop of luck, wool of bat, tongue of dog, belladonna, mandrake. Okay, so wool of bat, tongue of dog, belladonna, mandrake as well as redstone and drop of luck that is six ingredients is that all all the ingredients yes it is okay so at this point i should be able to make the thing um it's going to take a minute or two uh as it collects all of the required power from the nearby stuff i'm not sure do i have to do these in order i really don't know i don't think so though but just for the heck of it, let's make sure. Redstone, drop of luck, wool of bat, tongue of dog. Redstone, drop of luck, wool of bat, tongue of dog, belladonna, mandrake. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I don't need to put them in an order or anything. So I think I just right click with these things. Is that right? No? Or do I, let's see, redstone, uh, blah, blah, blah. I read that a million times already. Let's go back to the first page here. Um, basically, let's see, throw the ingredients. Okay, so all I've got to do at this point is throw my ingredients. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it looks like, as you can see from the, like, slimy looking, um, uh, particle effects, it, it appears to be working, okay, and then... Let's see here. Uh, um, what else? Let's see. The liquid will be the color of the resulting brew and will splutter in addition to the white swirls. So I think it might be ready. I think it might be done. Can I scoop it? Yes. So I have made the redstone soup at this point. Now, redstone soup is useful for a number of different things um, other than filling the chalice. Uh, it can be used to, as an ingredient in the seeping shoes, which basically make you completely immune to poison. And it also can be used in several other potions and I think a few different circle magics. Um, I'm not really 100% sure. But if we just like look through a couple of these, I'm sure that quickly I will find one that requires redstone soup, unless I'm totally wrong and a complete idiota. So, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. There's Brew of Love. Nope. <laughs> um, 
Is it in here? Redstone soup. Is there anything that requires redstone soup? I really don't know. Um, perhaps I spoke too soon. Uh, but I'm pretty sure... Ah, uh, there. Flying ointment. Flying ointment? I can already fly. I don't need that. Okay, but as you can see, a bunch of these things require redstone soup. There are a few other things as well. But for now, the only purpose of it is the chalice. So, um... Right now with the regular chalice, I've got 3966. Okay. And... Whenever I get my upgraded chalice here, you'll see that that's even higher, I, I, I hope, I think. Uh-huh. So there we go. I upgraded my chalice, and as you can see, it's glowing with the power of redstone soup, and I'm up to a massive 5,200 um, magical energy in my altar. Okay, so... Uh, on the next episode, with with the altar as upgraded as it is now, with the candelabra and the filled chalice, the only other upgrade that I could really make is uh, the skeleton skull into uh, the other skull, and also Arthana. Now, Arthana is a pretty cool one um, because that's this. So if I get if I make myself the Arthana, which I think I have emerald somewhere, although I'm not sure. Uh, but if I make the Arthana and I place Arthana on the altar here, it will double the range at which the altar can supply energy to things. So it can supply energy to a heart glyph that's up to 32 blocks away. It can supply energy to a kettle or a distillery that's up to 32 blocks away. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. The collection radius doesn't get larger because that could just get insane. But yeah, with 5,000, over 5,000 here, I should be able to do almost any circle magic. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one's 4,000, there's 3,000, there's 6,000. So that one's pretty expensive. 5,000, uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Uh, so yeah, I've pretty much, I've progressed through um, a lot of the requirements for things. Um, for example, call forth a demon. Okay, call forth a demon. Okay, 3,000 altar power. So I can officially do that and acquire demon heart, for example. Um, that is pretty awesome. Uh, I can also summon the wither for 4,000 altar power and a bunch of things, um, including sacrificing a villager. But, you know, hey, once in a while you've got to sacrifice a villager. That's just how it is. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that other than that one thing that's 6,000 and this thing that's 6,000, I think that I can do pretty much everything. Um, that one's 5,000, the curse of hell on earth. This is one of the most complicated, uh, crazy ones that there is. Um, only works in the overworld at night, requires 200 power per second. Only 5,000 altar power required for that, so that's possible, but it would only last a second because, yeah. Oh, wow, 10,000. That's pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite, I'm not quite there on that one. Or the Corrupt Poppet, um, which needs a cat familiar. But, I mean, for the most part, as you can see, I now have access to the vast majority of circle magic thanks to, uh, what I've just done there. So, yeah. That is, uh, we've done, we've done a good job today, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your name down below if you would like to be in the Hall of Minions. Okay, I'm gonna fill this up for next time. Uh, and on the next episode, we're probably gonna do more witchcraft stuff, unless you guys have some really cool suggestions on what else we could do. Okay, does that sound like a plan to you guys? You guys down for more witchery? Because, uh, I'm having a fun time with witchery. Like I said, I've, I've done, I've experimented with it a little bit with the private world that Kristen and I play, and I've learned some things, which is why I seem to know a lot about it. Um, and even though I didn't last time I did the Attack of the Bee Team mod pack. Which, uh, by the way, if you haven't seen my whole Attack of the Bee Team series, it's the precursor to this series, and, uh, really was the start of my modded Minecraft YouTube career. So, uh, if you're down for a history lesson, you can click the thingamajig on the screen, um, somewhere, uh, and you can go and watch that. 
uh, from the first episode and see my progression from total noob to like um, mildly decent YouTuber. Okay, so once again, thanks so much for watching. This has been Doc's Castle. I'll be back next Friday with another episode. Don't forget to share it with your friends if you think it's awesome because um, if you do that, then I'll think you're awesome. All right, guys, thanks so much. Bye bye.